Hi, I'm John Paladin. I've had a few questions recently about how to make wigs fit special effects appliances, how you cut them so that they don't bulge in the back after you do your uh, space creature or space villain or whatever the character it is you're going to do for your next convention. Uh, this uh, little video here uh, will be uh, Wig Cutting 101. It'll show you the easy way to do it. First thing, take the wig, put it in front of you on a flat surface, and open the package and take your wig out. Now, this particular wig that I have has already been cut, uh, but you will be able to uh, see where I made the cuts uh, during the demonstration. You'll find the front of the wig. And you go to the top of the hairline, and then you find the two front corners of the hairline. And that's where what begins what would be known as maybe the sideburn area of the wig. Now, this wig is already cut, so I'm going to put these two sides together where the cut was made. And then I'm going to follow the side of the wig down from the corner of the hairline down the sideburn area, which is going to be about two, two and a half inches. And you'll know the bottom of it when you see the way it's been finished off. Then I take scissors and I cut in about an inch and a quarter, maybe an inch and a half. And then I make a cut up toward the top of the wig about three quarters of an inch, no higher than that right at first, because I want to make sure that that's just enough. You only want to cut the wig just enough to make it flatten out on the head. Then you turn the wig to the other side, and you do the same thing. You follow down the sideburn finished edge of the wig to where it is naturally bound over and has a finished edge. And then you make your cut in about an inch and a quarter, maybe an inch and a half. And then you cut up three quarters of an inch. And then you fan out the top of the wig so that it looks as if it were a bird with wings extended. You want to make sure that the top of the wig fans out flat and that it's going to work for your purposes as far as attaching to the headpiece that you've chosen for your particular character for whatever convention you're going to. At that point, if you're using slush latex, you can sew the wig to the appliance. If it's hot foam or cold foam, use silicone adhesive. Now I've got my appliance on my mannequin head as if it were already applied. I'm using a hot foam appliance so I'm going to proceed as if I were using silicone adhesive on the appliance. I'm going to take the wig, find the center of the top, center of the hairline at the top, fan it out, make sure that everything is fine, and then I lay the wig right over the edge of the headpiece, center of the wig to the top of the head, and then drop it into the glue along the sides. Now I'm not gluing it, I'm going to uh, attach it with pins for the sake of brevity. Uh, but it will have the same effect. Now, once you've got your wig laid into the glue, you want to make sure that everything is seated properly. If you have to, use some alcohol, remove it, use some more uh, silicone adhesive, and apply it again. Once it's seated, fan the wig out, make sure that it's laying close to the back of the head on the back, and you'll notice that the wig does not bulge up or feel like it's it's uh, uh, not meant for this particular application. When you cut the wig on each side and fan it out, it will lay as if it's a custom wig made for using towards the back of the head. And it's just that simple. Well, I hope that helps you out. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to email me at jpaladin007 at gmail.com.